hi guys welcome to today's video still looking at the topic normal basis let's and let's look at equations involving normal basis our first example we have 2 1 base x equal to 11 now we should note that 11 over here is already in base 10 but 2 1 is in base x and we are supposed to solve for x our first task is to change 2 1 base x to base 10 and how do we do that? We first label 2, 1 from right to left, which is going to be 0 and 1. So this is going to give us 2 times the base x to the power 1 plus 1 times the base x to the power 0. And this is equal to 11. 11 is already in base 10. So this is going to give us 2x plus 1 equal to 11, giving us 2x equal to 11 minus 1. And the answer becomes 2x equal to 10. Now this gives us x equals 5. Let's have another example. We have 3 r 4 base 5 equal to 1 4 3 base 8. In this case, we can all see that both sides of the equation are not in base 10. So our first task is change all of them to base 10. So for the first side, we are going to label it 0, 1, 2. The second side also will be labeled 0, 1 and 2. And it's giving us 3 times 5 to the power 2 plus r times 5 to the power 1 plus 4 times 5 to the power 0. Then uh, the other side also 1 times 8 to the power 2 plus 4 times 8 to the power 1. Then we have 3 times 8 to the power 0. This gives us 75. Because 5 squared is 25. So times 3 gives us 75. Plus 5r plus 4 equals 64 plus 32 plus 3 you are now having 5r plus 79 equals 99 simplifying this 5r equals 99 minus 79 5r equals 20 so our r becomes 4 we have another example here 1 2 4 base x equals 1 1 1 0 base 3 both sides are not in base 10 so we change both sides by labeling 0, 1, 2. At this time, the right side is going to be 0, 1, 2, 3 because it has 4 digits. So simplifying this, we have 1 times x to the power 2 plus 2 times x to the power 1 plus 4 times x to the power 0 equals 1 times 3 cubed plus 1 times 3 squared plus 1 times 3 to the power 1 then plus 1, uh, 0 times 3 to the power 0. Now this gives us x squared plus 2x plus 4 equals 27 plus 9 plus 3 plus 0. Giving us x squared plus 2x plus 4 equals 39. This looks like a quadratic equation. So we move 39 to the other side and this gives us x squared plus 2x minus 35 equals to 0. Now we have to solve this equation. We first have to do quadratic trinomials at the left side. So we look for two numbers that when we multiply should give us negative 35 and when we add should give us positive 2. So for the first side, we have negative 1, 35. Negative 1 times 35 will give us negative 35, alright? And when we add them, it will give us 2. So let's move to the next step. Negative 5 and 7. Negative 5 times 7 will give us negative 35. And when we add them also, we are getting positive 2. So our uh, right answer here should be negative 5, 7. That should be our factors that we use to simplify or expand this. So this is giving us x squared plus 7x minus 5x minus 35 equal to 0. Factorizing, we have x out, we have x plus 7 minus 5 out, x plus 7. The brackets are the same, so we write one of them, then the coefficients also in another bracket. So x plus 7 times x minus 5 equal to 0. What it means is that it's either x plus 7 is equal to 0 or x minus 5 is equal to 0. Now solving this, we are going to have x equals negative 7 and x equals 5. Now because the number bases are mostly positive numbers, we say since the equation is true for positive values of x, our answer is going to be 
x is equal to 5 because the other one is negative 7 thanks for watching this video please like comment and subscribe if you haven't see you in our next video bye bye